Hey everyone, this is for the sign of Gemini for September of 2021. If you're new to my channel, I want to say welcome. And if you are coming back, I want to say thank you because I know I have been gone for most of the summer. <laughs> so I did publish my new book, It's Not You, It's Your Energy. And then I kind of took a break. So thank you for sticking with me. Um, I hope you're excited that I am back. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you are. I would appreciate that. And then also, if you don't know, I do read these cards intuitively, and I also read the energy. I'm an energy healer, so I do read the energy around these cards, and I also help women heal from toxic relationships, so you'll hear a lot about that and advice in these uh, messages about that, okay? Uh, I also am running a three-day challenge to heal your childhood trauma, so if you feel as though you have childhood issues, abandonment issues, if you're an overgiver... This challenge is really tailored towards you. If you're an empath and you know what energy is and you feel like you have a lot of energy vampires around you, that challenge is for you. We start September 13th. It will be up for a little while, so you can hit that link in the description box and also in the comments below. But let's get to your reading, Gemini. Let's see what is going on. So I like this overall energy for you for the month of September, which is the temperance. So I feel like there's balance here for you. Um, a little uh, give and take is what I'm hearing there. Um, I'm focused on a lot of the butterflies. So this could be a very uh, peaceful kind of revelation is also the word that they're giving me. So there might be some epiphanies that come up for you. Uh, in the very beginning of the month, we've got the Ace of Swords. We have the Seven of Swords. I'm going to move my little dragon over here. Uh, Two of Swords and Seven of Cups. So the Ace of Swords is like an internal triumph. So that might be why you're having some peace this month as to you let go of some of the shadiness or maybe you're bringing awareness to some of the shadiness. So please remember these are general readings. Take what resonates, take what doesn't. Um, but definitely there, there's been some negative energy or some shadiness around you. And I feel like with this Ace of Swords, they're saying like you have awareness of it now. So that's also got to be confirmation, they're saying, uh, because the two of swords is like you're blinded, but you've got the swords to cut the blindfold. And with the seven of cups, this is about options. So the story they're saying here is that awareness is key of the shadiness that is going on. Stop being blinded because you have the swords to release that, which to me is confirmation for you. So if you've been doubting something, if you've been thinking something, if you've been thinking somebody's manipulating, and this is where I talk about narcissists and, you know, their manipulative gaslighting behaviors, um, don't doubt it. Like stop doubt, doubting it because it's true. It's real. Step outside of it. I always say to take a break from it, get out of it for a minute, and then you can look at it rather than being in it. And with the seven of cups, it's like you feel like you might uh, with this, it's like going back and forth in your head. And that was like give and take a little bit, that push and pull. Uh, but you've got options here. So don't think that you're ever stuck in something that is making you miserable or making you doubt yourself or making you doubt everything or making that, you know, feel unloved or however the heck that's making you feel. And again, this could be resonate in different ways, relationships, friendships, business, careers, but you've got options. So you don't need to stay in something where you feel stuck and you feel like an ickiness around it or that something is just not right. And a lot of people will not make the decision to do anything about it until they know that what they think is actually real. But the question for you that I have is, why is it worth sitting in that energy of doubt and fear and worry why is that good versus just saying, you know what? I don't want to sit in doubt, fear, or worry. I want, I want happiness and joy. And whether you know the answer or know the truth, why is that energy something that you want to sit in? And that's where in the middle of the month we're going to get to because we've got the six of wands. We've got the hangman. We've got the king of cups. And we've got the strength card. So this is kind of being recognized, promoting, and I feel I'm, I'm hearing like promoting yourself. So this is about like maybe taking a step up, uh, raising your standards, lowering your expectations, but raising your standards, which is kind of like, um, you know, it, it kind of battles itself out. But 
you can let go of expectations, but also raise your standards of what you expect in your life or what you want in your life. Maybe lose that word of expect, but want in your life. And with that hangman and the king of cups and the strength card, you want more than what this is happening. You want that balance. You want that peace. And you've got to look at it from a different perspective, which is what I was just saying. Look at it from the outside in versus being on the inside and in survival mode. Look at it and see what the heck is happening here. And that's with the king of cups, like living with love and having the strength to do that. And I love this because at the end of the month, like once you have these epiphanies and once you can see, so some of you will definitely be in the childhood challenge, but you've got the ace of pentacles, you've got the nine of cups, the five of cups and the queen of pentacles. So you get this brand new beginning that you're wanting. And this could be a brand new beginning of emotion. It could be brand new beginning of with a person. It could be a brand new beginning of something with business. However it resonates with you, it could just be something because you've lifted yourself up here is what I'm getting with the six of wands. The nine of cups is my, is my wish card. So everything that you were wanting in this shadiness that was happening here. And again, this has been going on for a while. It's not something that's just like shady, but for, for a lot of you anyway, but everything that you were wishing for that you would achieve up here is now coming forth after you make the decisions to step up on your own. And with the five of cups, right? When, when our wish comes through, what do we want to do? We want to sabotage it. And that's just kind of warning you here. When this is happening, this new beginning at the end of the month, and again, the energy is fluid. fluid so it might go a little bit into October, might have already happened for some of you, but realize that you've got to keep looking at the end goal. You've got to keep looking at what you want in your life. And with the Queen of Pentacles, this is about sitting there, trusting the universe, knowing that everything is coming your way, that everything is okay, and allowing yourself to just kind of be instead of focusing on what didn't work out up here and focusing on all of this. And a lot of the times, if this is a narcissistic relationship for you, if this resonates in that way, and even in, no matter what it resonates, a lot of us will stay in our mind focusing on it, thinking, what could we have said differently? What could have we done, done differently? And we focus on those things. And that's her here looking at the three cups that are spilled in the water rather than the two gleaming ones inside of you. So this might be you focusing on the narcissistic relationship or abusive or manipulative toxic relationship that you had, whether it be, again, romantic or friendship or family Instead of you focusing on the people that are actually coming into your life that are going to fill you up rather than bring you down. And that's what that Queen of Pentacles is all about, is being able to allow things to come to you that are on the same energy level and same vibration as you are. All right, what other message do we have for the sign of Gemini for September? All right, so we've got the four of wands here, which is recharge your hopes. So don't let this get you down. So a lot of the times what will happen is when something like this happens, when you let go of something or something didn't work out, we start to like lose hope, lose faith, like, oh, it's never going to work. I'm never going to find somebody. I'm never going to get another job, like all of these things. And that's just our ego. That's just the negative side of our mind. Um, but this is about recharging those hopes. And I love this card because this is the magician intuition and taking chances. So this is about you being able to manifest using the law of attraction and your energy, um, and your mind in order to bring things to you. And especially connecting to that intuition of yours, where I feel as though some of that intuition is blocked here because of the manipulation of somebody else. So you can't really trust your intuition because you're being manipulated. So therefore, every time you think you're right, you're being told you're wrong. So therefore, it gets very um, uh, confusing, definitely confusing. And then we've got the nine of wands, which is pause and observation. So again, what I had said, take a step back so you can see what is happening versus being in it. And that's right here. So pausing and observing is going to be very important, which is that balance, this temperance card over here 
allowing yourself to get out of the chaos, right? And also think about things and create that balance for yourself instead of, again, being in it. So it's very, very important this month to step out of it rather than being in it. And good things are coming your way. So the question of the month for you is, am I clear on what my soul really wants? Whew, I love this card. Take out the shoulds and the limitations, get out of your head and pay attention to your heart's desires instead. If you knew it was impossible to fail, what would you do? Wherever you go, go with all your heart. Today's soul action is ask yourself, what is it that your soul really wants? What does your heart crave? Then take one step in that direction. Mm, love it, right? Uh, so what does your soul really want? And again, when you're in it, you can't really see because you're in survival mode. So a lot of a lot of the women that I work with, when I ask them, um, you know, like, what do you want to get out of our program, our time together, our, our coaching? And they will tell me everything that they don't want because they've been in survival mode for so long. They can't even think about what they do want because they just want to get out of what they're already in. So think about that. You've got to get yourself out and figure to just like take some time away from your situation so that you can see what's really going on. And then maybe you can take some time to actually ask yourself, like, what do I actually want to feel like? What do I actually want my relationship to be like and make it make me feel? What do I want my job to make me feel? How do I want to feel every single day? To me, questions are so important because that's where you get your clarity. And with this, it's important to ask those questions. And they're telling me, like, stop going on the surface level. It's time to go deeper. So I want to feel good. Well, what is good? What does that mean to you? Does that mean, like, when I smile, I actually feel it in my body? Um, you know, like, what does that mean for you? And start to really dig deeper as into what your soul and what your heart really craves. So I hope that was helpful for you. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button if you like this video and hit the little bell notification to get notified when I do come out with more. Um, and then if you want to join the three-day challenge for Heal Your Childhood Trauma, which would definitely help with this, staying away from this kind of situation, you can find the link in the description box and also in the comments. And if you enjoyed the reading, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me out on YouTube. If you want to comment, let me know what you thought. That also pushes these videos out to other people that can hear these messages. All right. Much love to all of you. I hope you have a wonderful month. Stay strong up here. You have so much beautiful stuff coming and just know that you deserve it.